What is the facial nerve and how is it protected during surgery? I'm Dr. Bob Akhmarian from Center for Advanced Parotid and Facial Nerve Surgery. That is a very important question. So let's go through the anatomy of the facial nerve. The facial nerve starts in the brain, goes through a bony canal in the skull, does two turns and then comes out under the ear, immediately enters the parotid gland, branches out, and goes to the muscles of the face that are in charge of your facial expressions, blinking and smiling, and movement of your lips. It's a very important nerve. It's, it's, it's an absolutely important nerve. People think that uh, losing facial nerve is just an aesthetic thing, aesthetic uh, problem. It is way more than that. A, your facial expressions are how you communicate your emotions to, to the people you're talking to. So the facial nerve does even more than just plain movement, blinking or smiling. It emotes, it gives you your expression, your ability to communicate effectively. So it's in incredibly important. So much so that there's books written about it. My partner, Dr. Azizadeh, has written a book entirely on the facial nerve and its, and its functionality and how it's taken care of. Now the facial nerve anatomy is different in every person. The only constant in it is that it travels in the bone of the skull and does two turns there and, and exits the skull through a, a, a hole underneath the ear. After that, once it comes out and goes in the product gland, the rest of the anatomy is pretty diverse, right? You can see it here, um, branching out, and usually it divides into two branches, the lower division and upper division, and those have further branches, but that can be slightly different. Or it can have cross connectivity and cross branching. We call this an arcade of branching. So in every person, this anatomy is different and it's somewhat unpredictable. So the person who's doing your surgery, the, the person who's doing the product surgery for you needs to have a deep understanding of this anatomy and an appreciation for it. Now, during surgery, what we do is that we obviously know where the tumor is, and what we try to do based on the size of the tumor, decide how extensive the surgery needs to be. Now, let's assume the surgery needs to be an extensive one. You have a larger tumor, you need to remove, and it may be cancerous, and you need to remove a large margin of product tissue, or perhaps even remove the entire product plant. In this case, you need to dissect and find all the branches of the facial nerve. So I'll draw this in blue. You can find the facial nerve at its root here, as it's exiting the, the skull through that little hole in the skull, right? If you find it right at the beginning there, then you can track it out and find the upper division, the lower division, and then look at all the other branches, right? No, now, you don't need to dissect the nerve out all the way outside of the product. You only need to do it within the product, okay? So you limit your dissection to identify the, the nerve to the areas that are relevant to your surgery, right? Um, now, at the same time, we put nerve monitors in the muscles of the face so that once we're close to the nerve, these nerve monitors give us warnings. And once the surgery is done and the tumor has been removed, right? And you just have the nerve left with a portion of the product, then what we do is stimulate the nerve at its root to make sure all the muscle systems are moving, right? And that's how we confirm that the nerve is intact and functioning properly. Again, the whole time you're looking at that anatomy and watching it and making sure that you are keeping the nerve safe as you remove the tumor. But once you're done, you have an extra measure of safety, which is stimulating the nerve with a very precise nerve stimulator at its root and making sure that all the branch of systems are working, which gives you confirmation that the nerve is intact and functioning properly. Um, this is not a surgery that is quick. The surgeon needs to be patient, meticulous, neurotic, I would even say, about finding the facial nerve and its branches. You cannot rush through the surgery. You have to be patient, patient and meticulous because every single branch matters, right? The functionality, the full functionality of this nerve really matters and we have to do everything we can to preserve it 
and do a good job, not only as preserving it, but also removing the tumor appropriately and adequately so the tumor doesn't recur. And finally, uh, a reconstruction afterwards is also crucial so there's no divot on the side of the face and there's no phrase syndrome or sweating on the face when you get hungry. In any case, hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at prodmd.com. If you like this video, please like it. Make some comments if you have some suggestions or if you have questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And we, we really like for you to let us know what you like so we can make videos that can be helpful to you. Viewer.